My name is Rico, the Dungeon Master for Season 3, The Restoration of the Twelve Olympians. This season, we'll find our heroes traveling back to the lands of Eris and Enyo with Inharmonia as they adventure through and see what they have accomplished and completed by restoring the three fabled relics, the Sickle of Kronos, the Golden Apple of Discord, and the Robe and Necklace of Harmonia. We'll start with Deborah. I am Deborah, and I am playing a human rogue named Neith. Her name is Neith. And I'm Matt, playing a dragonborn monk named Ari Futan. And I'm Daphne, and I play Gilsira Venfire, who is a halfling druid. I'm Jenna. I am a cleric elf, and my name is Lix Balzator. And my name is Rico. I am the dungeon master for season three of the campaign. Who's Debra- ready for? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Who's ready for Deborah's Debra's diary. diary? There was the I strap am. on. I- <laughs> <laughs> in the diary? Oh, I hope so. I can't wait to hear that part. Oh, you just put it into the episode. Our listeners, <laughs> Deborah's doing the face bomb right now. Yeah. <laughs> Going to bed. It's purple, right? Dear diary. <laughs> <laughs> Our heroes have talked to Genevieve. <laughs> Our heroes have talked to the Abold. And they've also gotten Perry on their side. Archduke Ferdinand. Archduke Ferdinand. Okay. And they were waiting on to be able to meet with the head of the Paladins Guild. Martel. Um, Williams. <laughs> so Gelsire decided to go back to the Druids Guild to get some get some Druid stuff. Um during which Perry laughed at her and Bear. <laughs> that was fun. And then they headed to the Fighters Guild, where Electo um, was challenged to a drinking contest. But unfortunately, the head of the Fighters Guild did not know that she had a um, hatchable jaw. <laughs> like a snake. Just dump it down. She very quickly won that one. And so thus Min- Minerva joins the party. After that, they visited the Wizards Guild. During um, and while trying to get in, Lux and Ari hit the wall, literally. And somehow, Neith gets in very easily. You knocked. I did. You it's don't all exist. All about knocking. Oh, sorry. All knocked. about knocking. However, knocked with a K. When Neith was trying to get Galsira some items, Neith also then hit a wall. While Ari was telling his life story to. Arkin. Mm-hmm. Yep. Nice. And Arkin recognizes elect um recognizes Electo for the fury that she is, but they weren't able to get any allies from the Wizards Guild. So they headed over to the Fighters Guild and sees Martel, who is also a bastard, who then let everybody else know that they also have auras. That in mind. After hugging a whole bunch between Ari and Martel, and Martel and Ari, and all the dragon board hugging. Our heroes then head back to the manor to eat. Excellent. Nailed it. So you all Boom. go back to the mayoral estate pretty easily. There's no food prepared, but... Check if... for traps. Sweet. There are no traps. Nailed it. <laughs> Good job. Good job. There's no food prepared, but um, you can. The guy that told you about Nikki is standing there in the corner. <laughs> Looks like he's awaiting <laughs> for instruction. Hey, buddy. Good afternoon. Is the can we get? Is there any way we could eat some food? Absolutely. <coughs> what oh, would you I'm like? So hungry. Just the the edible kinds of food. Nothing. No special request or anything venison? like that. Venison. Is it like meat? Yeah, we we have venison. Do you have any bacon? We have bacon. Do you have any chowder? <laughs> we can prepare some chowder. You know what, okay. buddy? If you could just bring her one of everything. There's not enough room on the table. There's not mm. enough jelly. I mean, if he could just fill up the whole table with as much as he can. I think me and Electo could probably... They're both insatiable. Maybe some meat, some bread, yeah. cheese. Soup. Ooh, fresh cheese if you got it. We, Ooh, we always have good. fresh yep. cheese. Oh, yeah, cheese would be nice. Yeah, absolutely. 
All right, and he disappears into the back to instruct the staff to get cooking food. Electo sits at one of the chairs and awaits. Get to work, mother fathers. <laughs> and then in walks Eris. Hi, Eris. Yo, Eris. Good Howdy. afternoon, everybody. Hi. How's everybody doing? Oh, Pretty we're great. Doing great. I heard lunch was being ordered. Oh, yeah. Yeah, would you like to join us? Yeah, nice. absolutely. Please. Absolutely. Hey, do you know uh, anything about the wizard uh, guild leader? What? I know a lot about the wizard guild yeah. leader. Yeah, what what's his, his deal? deal? He's, why is he so rude? And also, he, who the fuck is he? Because he's definitely- What name did he give you? Archon. <laughs> <laughs> That's not that's not his I'm name. I'm assuming he's one of your like stupid ass brothers or something. Close. Not even one of my brothers, one of my sisters. Oh, typical. Which one? <laughs> hey, what? Hecate? Goddess of magic. Oh. <laughs> Just hanging out here. Is she using huh? a cube of force? Do you know? Is she Probably. Yeah. Who knows? What's she doing here? Make a little home for herself in my quaint little town? Does she have mm. all of the magic? All of the magic that being a god would allow her, yes. Incredible. Is there any reason she'd be pissed at Electo? No, not at all. Yeah, she, she and Electo's didn't. like, ah, I knew it. She's an <laughs> Olympian. And Eris is like, she is. Could you not tell? No. She was behind some stupid field. I couldn't <laughs> read her. Yeah, that's that Cuba force. And then Eris goes and sits at the head of the table. So have you any plans for Bianca? Well, Perry, the archer, is going to help us. So is Martel. Why are oh, we... Um... He's a firebrand. <laughs> yeah, he's fun. Literally, he's a dragon. Yes. We hugged. Nice. Yes. Is he as big as I remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's huge. Yeah, he's pretty massive. About 50, I love having him here. 50 feet tall, 100 feet wide. We Not are yet, <laughs> but I'm sure one of these days he will be. Hey, do you think the barbarians would be of any help? Is there killing involved? Mm-hmm. And bloodshed? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Okay, I have an idea. What is it? Well, I was going to ask Cedric to deliver the message for us. Barbarians are dumb. They can't talk to birds. Well, but I, I have a spell called Animal Messenger where the bird can talk to them. You want to send your familiar into the barbarian guild hall and have your bird talk to them? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He'd just drop off like a letter. They can't read. <laughs> they're good at smashing things and protecting the outside of the city that's all they're good for mm. oh well if they're not going to be in did you get Hecate to join you no Wait, no they were not into it she's kind of a bitch yeah she was very condescending <clears throat> she'll do that being a god yep makes sense now like i asked for some phosphorus and she was like <laughs> are you a wizard and i'm like no, and she's like, okay, well, then she was like, deuces. Yeah. Did you go to the alchemist? Jesus Christ. Uh, well, you know, time. <laughs> we kind theme of, of the day. Did of you time. go to the alchemist? <laughs> Ran out of where time? that shit is. Yeah, I mean, you know. Don't you have like 11 hours? I mean, well, we, only we, like an hour. we were just going to rest first because we we're waiting on right. some stuff. Did you go to the phosphorus by. store? <laughs> rest? Didn't Ari take a bunch of ambrosia? Yeah, but you know, it's nice to nap. Oh. Nap that's is nice. Fair. Do you ever nap? I, all the time. That's great, isn't it? It is pretty good. Wonderful. I often forget that you guys are still part mortal. Yes. Very much so. So, you talk to Perry? You talk yep. to Martel? Who else did you talk to? Uh, the fighters and Minerva. Minerva. Ooh, I've always liked her. There are two less fighters in the arena now. Y- sorry. <clears throat> Electo's uh, like, I'm not sorry. Yeah. <laughs> They had it coming. They did. And Electo says, yes, they did. They did. And then Eris is like, you don't like being talked down to, do you? And Electo's <laughs> like, not even slightly. <laughs> I understand being primarily older than me. You probably don't take that shit lightly. Not even a little bit. <laughs> is Electo eating? No, the, no, the food's not out yet. Oh, okay. She's sitting, waiting <laughs> She's for She's eating the table. <laughs> <laughs> Dislocating your jaw to just take chunks out. Also, the monks are going to help us too. Oh, that's smart. Mm-hmm. Those rogues are shifty, aren't they, Neath? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. So it sounds like you've got a nice little posse. You're going to need it. Bianca is quite a challenge. We're actually just going to like 
wait until she goes in and just blow the whole place up. The whole money changer building? Yeah, like nuclear bomb style. That is genius. <laughs> You're going to collapse a building on her? The best plan. Uh, Do you want to come and watch? No. Oh, I just No, while you guys are doing nice. that, I've got a tournament to prepare for. Starts tomorrow. We'll tape it for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. Tournament tomorrow, huh? Do we know where we're at in the seatings? Well, it depends on how well you fare with Bianca. Huh. Yeah, shit, we might not make it to the tournament. I mean, yeah, that is a possibility. We'll come back to life. We're awesome. Like I mean, that. I'll be happy either way. And then she grins that evilly wide Grinch I'm grin. Just, I'm just kind of scared of disappointing your brother. Oh, you don't want to do that. I know. Like, you I'm know what just... happens when you disappoint Eric. <laughs> I mean, I, I actually don't know. I don't want to find out. <laughs> no, you know. It's been told to you. Plays you, cooks you from the feet up. I think it was an audiogram. Yep. <laughs> I think it was, too. Um, yeah, I'm just a little scared because I feel like maybe we're going to meet our match. And I don't want to disappoint him. Oh, I certainly hope so. If not, then I've picked a terrible, terrible champion as my scion. Well, you know. Say la vie. Yep. <laughs> um, do, you know, do you know when the food's going to get here? And as you say, that food starts being delivered. So, okay. Smell of fresh cooked venison and sizzling bacon and bread coming out on trays that are still steaming like they're fresh out of the oven. There's another tray of different cheeses, Munster mm. and Swiss and mm. cheddar, and there's fresh fruit. They have a Switzerland here? No. <laughs> Cedric flies <laughs> off of your shoulder onto the table and is bouncing around excitedly on his two little owl claws, <laughs> waiting for the, the fruit and the meat to get here. Don't give him any. I hope you don't mind that Cedric's a little angry. No, I don't mind at all. Okay, great. Get that bird off the table. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I pick up, I pick up a leg of venison and start eating it. I kind of look at Electo a little bit to kind of observe what she's doing. Oh, she's filling both hands I'm with like, food. I'm like trying to like match what she's doing. Yeah, she's got. <laughs> she's filling both hands with food. One hand is a full loaf of hot bread. That's still piping hot. Doesn't seem to bother her. The other one has got meat in it, and she's just taking a big old <laughs> chunk out of the bread and a big old bite out of the meat. And then she'll put the bread down, and she'll grab a fistful of cheese, and then she'll take a bite of the meat, and at the and then take a bite of the cheese, like mixing it in her mouth. Love that. Uh, yeah. Um. So Eris starts eating as well picking grapes just one by one slowly eating she doesn't need to eat but she's gonna because it's fun yeah it's fun food tastes good sometimes yeah and then cedric is dancing around and pecking at the bacon and then <laughs> goes and pecks at the venison and then goes and pecks at the cheese and then hops on top of a loaf of bread and pecks at the loaf of bread and he's just He's just bobbing back and forth between all of the food there on the table. Eris doesn't seem to mind. Um, it's just food. Go to, go to Chowtown, Cedric. He is absolutely going to Chowtown. He would talk to you, but he's busy eating. Yeah, I don't want to disturb him. Um, there are empty goblets there at the table. Um, they can be filled with water or wine or mm. ambrosia, whatever. A little wine for lunch. Yeah, wine. Yeah, uh, there's some servers will bring some some wine around. It'll Oof. be it'll be a beautiful light red <sighs> color. Uh, will taste like strawberries and white grapes. Mm. It's a sweet wine. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Excellent. Yeah. So you guys can eat all you want. Eris won't disturb you. She won't talk to you while you're eating unless you have any further questions for her. Do you have any advice on how to take down the butcher? <laughs> I do. I'm listening kill her before she kills you that is excellent <laughs> advice that's the best advice you're so smart i i mean yeah the best well, i don't know about that probably but i'm definitely the prettiest best at killing uh that too well no my brother's the best at killing. all right all right but he's and not then, here uh you smell a distinct smell of sulfur and brimstone on the air for just a moment Oof. Out through the kitchen, walks Hades. Well, wasn't me. <laughs> and then Hades. Hello. Good afternoon. How you doing? Very well. And you? Doing exceptionally well. It's, thank you. It's nice to see you. And they sit next to Eris, and then they start eating as well. Eris rolls her eyes. 
Hades, what or to what do we owe the pleasure? And then Hades says, well, I hear there's killing abound. And you know me, I love those souls. I just love killing. <laughs> I don't like making money. I just love collecting souls. Hades mattresses. <laughs> so uh, Hades starts eating uninvited, but Eris isn't going to stop them. Hades comes and goes as they please. And through a mouthful of food, Hades looks over to you, Lux, and they say, have you met my paladin? I have. I kind of taken to him, in fact. Martel? Martel. He's a hell of a dragon boy. He's a hell of a everything. You got you two got along well, I, I presume? Absolutely. Swimmingly. You'll be doing him a big favor by killing this bastard. And then Eris throws a piece of meat at Hades <laughs> and hits them on the side of the head. Why is that? Why would why would you be doing Why am I doing Martell a favor? Well, that? I'm sure he would love to do other things and spend all of his time at the infirmary. Yeah, he mentioned that. Oh yeah. He's an awesome dude. Martell's fantastic. He is my most favorite paladin. Excellent. I, I see would why. say my favorite Dot com. Um <laughs> Hey what? Do you think you could maybe score some sulfur and some phosphorus from, from Hades for me? It's a meth. Absolutely. See about the meth. Hades, could you? Yeah. Uh, would you mind doing me a favor? Um, I need some phosphorus and sulfur. Oh, was that it? That's it. Oh, well, that's incredibly easy. So Hades takes two fingers and goes My straight ones. down, <laughs> <laughs> straight down, <laughs> and um, rips a glowing purple fissure in oh, the fissure. air, and they reach in. And they bring their hand back out, and they have a big yellow chunk of um, sulfur. Oh, my God. I love that smell. And it smells like Hades. put it <laughs> on the table, and then they reach in again to their elbow. Then they go in a little bit deeper to their shoulder, and then they pull their hand back, and there is a big rocky chunk of, what was it? Phosphorus. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they put it on the table, and then the little space-time portal seals up, and they say, is that enough? Did you get that from the alchemist? But no. <laughs> no, I got it from the underworld. We're chock full of it. Ah. Yeah, to cut out the middleman. I look at Lux, and I'm like, that's enough. That shall do. All right. And then they pick it up, and they throw it to you. Not, can I catch it? Her can I try and catch it? Yeah, you can catch it. They, they, uh, gently, catch it. they yeah. gently throw it to you. It's not like they wind Chucked up. Chucked it. Yeah, it's not <laughs> like a fastball. <laughs> Fucking Nolan yeah, to Ryan. Your dome. <laughs> they just pick it up and they throw it to you. There you go. Thank you, Hades. The whole and then yeah. Hades HB. looks back over at Eris and he says, don't throw food at me. <laughs> and Eris says, don't coach them on killing my scion. <laughs> They're going to die one way or the other. Either they're going to die in the tournament or these ones are going to kill him. Her. Sorry. Her. Rico messed up. Her. Bianca's a her. Nikki. <laughs> Bianca. Bianca. Nikki. Whatever. Nikki. Bianca. I call her Bianca. Besides, Eris, you can just make another one. Maybe not one like Bianca this time. You have lost. Never mind. I don't care how many people they kill. It's more <laughs> souls for me. And Eris says... I really, really like this one. She's been just fantastic ever since I got here. And Hades is like, well, you know, bastards. They are what they are. Well, and, you know, uh, I've been trying to uh, scout out some real estate here. I could help cause some chaos. Oh. Yeah, I, I think so I want to get a summer home here. Oh. Well, I could, love a spaceship. That could probably be arranged. How much yeah. is a house? For you guys? I don't want a house. I want a hero's mansion. <laughs> I mean, Idiot. I mean, you can't have a mansion. Only I can have a mansion. Well, whatever smaller than your house and acceptable, obviously you're the mayor. Like a two-story house or something? Yes. Yeah, that, that, that could sounds easily great. be arranged. I could just kick somebody out or have Bianca <laughs> kill them. It'd be fun to do that. Yeah, you just let me know where you want your you house to it. be. You got it. You got it. And then whenever you just Bianca want me to go, go cause that some shit, that's, all, that's what I'll do. Summertime. Yeah, sure. Every time. <laughs> love that. Would love to. This went out. weird. <laughs> Why? Why is it got to be weird? Hey, I am the goddess of chaos. 
Uh, can I, Ar- Ari? Can I take you over to the corner for some for a chat, real quick? Yes. Okay, I take Ari over to the corner. What's up? Um, I want to uh, help you out a little bit. Oh, thanks. Throwing and your I shit drop all over the floor. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> um, I want to give you some aid, uh, cause I think that Electo's been dropping some hints. Yeah, no, I know. Okay. Uh, I don't want your AIDS. You don't. <laughs> it's not contagious. <laughs> it um, seems like it might be. No, but like, could I just like bless you real quick and maybe it, it would help with your stamina? <laughs> it's, I, it's been a while if, if you've ever. Yeah, even, I'll take a free blessing. Okay. Yeah, I'll bless. I'll give you a bless. So that means you're just like extra reverence for eight hours. <laughs> Yeah, I, I just thought, thought that could help. Back get to the get on that, would, man. Like, help it. us move through this episode and actually like, get to the heist. Have you met us? <laughs> <laughs> um, I um, is Cedric still eating? It's Phil. Um, I I talked to Cedric. I'm like, hey, Cedric. Um, and then he looks up at you, and a couple crumbs fall out of his beak, <laughs> and he's like, yes. I'm like, hey, I have, I have a favor to ask. Sure. Do you think you can fly out to the barbarians and ask them to join us tonight? You're actually going to let him do that? I can try. Do they speak owl? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast a spell on you called Animal Messenger. Okay. And that means that you can talk to them in my voice. Oh, all right. Um, so well, That sounds interesting. Yeah, I've never done fly this before. Fly high and yell. But the message Put I would Put some like, space between you, please. The message yeah. I, I'd like to give them is... Um, Hey, barbarians, if you don't like the Butcher of Aspasia, join us tonight at the Money Changer. Don't do that. I don't think that's What if he gets intercepted? Also, I kind of feel like that's not the way to talk to a barbarian. Hey, you dumb fucks. (laughs) You want to kill some people tonight? I don't think they... I bet they don't care at all about the bastard. Okay. 11 p.m. Okay, I'd like to amend my message. Shit's going down! Um, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. A glorious battle. Why don't we tell them at like 10.30 so they can't like <laughs> fuck it up before. <laughs> like a glorious battle awaits you. Glory and honor tonight at 11 at the Money Changer. They show up and fight us. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I say sign <laughs> go sign of fire. I still don't think you should even be trying. That's the message you want me to take to him? You know what, <laughs> Jelly? <laughs> that whole thing, all of that. <laughs> didn't Eris now? just say that uh, they're good for nothing? Like, they, they wouldn't be useful inside the wall at all? I thought she said that they would, would be. What what what, what what What's real? What, what was actually <laughs> said? <laughs> yeah, Rico, which one know. was that? That Jenna asking Rico. Oh, Eris has a strong disdain for the barbarians. She doesn't have any faith in them whatsoever, but they're really good at defending the wall around the city. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I think we should just uh, maybe skip the barbarians. I feel like we have like enough. Well, I, th- I definitely I don't want to good... risk Cedric. That's yeah. like I think that they see a uh, owl and they're like, <laughs> oh, <hungry>. food. <laughs> that owl looks delicious. All right. Well, I mean, that's what I see wrong. when I look at Owls Cedric. are terrible to eat. Have you had hardly one? Hardly any meat. Of course, I have. Um, they're probably delicious. No, they aren't. Like they're all—they're so skinny. They're all—all all bone, right? And feather, right? But a little They'd bit. Be, people eat squirrel. There ain't nothing there either. People eat squirrel when they're starving. You make not because they no. are for fun. People hunt squirrel for fun. All right. Well, two of they two of them. my party they, members yeah. don't hmm. think it's a good idea, so I guess I won't. Mark makes oh. squirrel chili. All right. I'm gonna go back to eating then. I guess. Okay. Thanks anyway. And he puts his head inside an entire loaf of bread. He's so cute. We should eat Cedric. Ah, uh, guys, yeah, I think I think that nap's in order. Hours and just mm. <laughs> Electo, you want to go take a nap? Will that be sleeping? No. Then yes. Let's go. <laughs> uh, I head up to a bed. Same room you had before. All right. The pillow and bed is still wet. <laughs> <laughs> I check my room for it. Really? Yep. It's been a while. No, what? That bitch didn't change the sheets or. Oh, well, you you kind of. No, Bianca ran out. She ran out. Jumped out the window. The sheets and. Yep, I don't think she's the only servant around here. She was the only one attending to those rooms. You better. Well, just step outside and yell. Someone will come. Or just sleep in a different room. 
Yeah. The the pillow and the sheets are dry. Um, I don't sleep. I just drink some ambrosia. That's smart. All right. You feel refreshed. And um, I'm just going to spend the rest of the time just walking around, just thinking. Sure. I, I haven't had There's a lot of a time nice to myself. There's a garden out back where you could go and meditate yeah, if you wanted. Yeah, that's what I do. Or I spot go into the garden. A fucking There's shifty little bitch. koi fish in the in the the streams that flank each sidewalk. So yeah, it's it's pretty nice out back in the gardens. That's what I do. You could go out and enjoy nature, listen to the birds sing, and watch the butterflies, and enjoy that time. Yeah. That's what I do. Sweet. I haven't had a lot of me time. Yeah, you haven't had time. a lot of. Yeah, you haven't had a lot of. Jelly time. Yep. Peanut butter jelly time. (laughs) (laughs) That's exactly what went through my head. I would like to take a bath. Sweet. You can you can do that. You can go take a bath and relax. You are taking a nap. Ari, you go upstairs with Electo. I check for traps. There are no traps. Okay. She doesn't make it all the way into the room before her clothes are off. Excellent. And she climbs on the bed. And she drops the farm girl persona. You are now looking at a naked fury of vengeance. Awesome. With her arms outstretched and um, her eyes fixed on you. I'd lock the door real quick. And- yeah, absolutely. And she looks like she's ready to go to Pound Town. Don't forget the sock. I'd take her to Pound Town. <laughs> and it is, has Ari ever had sex before? No. <laughs> Then she Aww. is gentle with Ari at first. <laughs> um, there is no <laughs> biting or choking or lashing with the whip. Not yet. Um, <laughs> until you have established that you want there to be. <laughs> but she will go at your pace. It can be soft and loving. It can then escalate. Yeah, it can then escalate. I mean, I'm I'm under the effects of a spell right now, so I mean we're gonna we're gonna go to town. Oh. What spell? I oh, know. I blessed him. With what? He bless. I it's a spell that's blessed. He's just extra reverent for eight hours. Reverent? That's what reverence the... isn't gonna help him with sex. <laughs> stamina. Stamina. Reverence and stamina are not synonymous. What did you bless me with, fool? Instead of banging, I'm worshiping. <laughs> May have said the Ooh. wrong thing. Are you? No. Oh. Hopefully I'm back. You better like that. That I said the wrong thing anyway. Hold on. Because Hephaestus will grant you with stamina. <laughs> oh, I should be caught. I'm not going to call for Hephaestus. She's naked right now. We're doing this. <laughs> I'm not going to be like, hold up. <laughs> Let me take a blue pill. <laughs> That's not the move. That's a bad move. <laughs> and you don't have to worry about getting sleep because you have a water skin full of ambrosia. Oh, you yeah. can be. And in fact, there are times when she asks you to have some more. Excellent. <laughs> As much like her hunger, she is quite insatiable. Oh, All right. it's it's aid and oh yeah, it, AIDS. It's a uh, isn't AIDS. that like an extra toughness st- and resolve? Yeah, that's not going to help you. <laughs> I mean, right. the toughness, yes. <sighs> yeah, it would help. Shit, and resolve. That's definite <laughs> stamina. Nope, none of those things equal stamina. Okay. <laughs> Look them up right now. Dictionary dot com. Look up resolve. And resilience, and see how many of those are synonymous with stamina. I'm good. Okay, because the answer is none of them. <laughs> also, your DM, so it doesn't matter. So yeah, do. you and Electo have quite a session. Excellent. For how long was your nap time going to be? Twenty days. Twenty days. <laughs> I, I was thinking like a couple hours. A couple yeah, hours. Yeah, probably a couple hours. So you probably need a. So you'd probably need like two sips of ambrosia in between since it's your first time. Yeah. But she will turn you into a man dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Do I hear this from the garden? Um, <laughs> I hope so. Do you want the people outside or the room and outside the palace can, or the mayoral you estate to hear it? Because <laughs> um, Electro's not going to be quiet about it. Yeah, no, it's fine. Okay, yeah. then yes. <laughs> you hear the throes of passion coming from the <laughs> upstairs and the mayoral Can I yes. hear it in the bath? Yeah, you can hear it in the Ooh, bath. I'm <laughs> now touching myself. <laughs> I think Ari and Electo are S-E-X-ing. They are S-E-X-ing. <laughs> F-U-C-K. <laughs> All right. So uh. two and a half, three hours have gone by since lunch and um, the sex capade. Love is in you. you guys can now go get your armor. You can go get your cartridges. Yeah. I think 
Um, oh, and your acid mm. that you needed to. to you get no, that's already given me. Oh, that's my right. Acid. He gave you the acid. Yeah. Yep. And I, I ran it back to what's his name. Did you? Did you order anything? I don't think you did. Did you? Anti resistance potion. That's right. You can get your anti resistance potion. Knock yep, that you can get shit that out too. quick and then kill, 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 kill. kill. This Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Oh shit! Though I should have asked yeah, the alchemist the if he had any LSD. Changer, changer. I mean, you could still. Yeah, you got to go, or somebody's got to go back there. Two people have There's to go back there be anyway. Some, I What's gotta it like? Three o'clock, four o'clock here. Uh, I'm gonna it's live here about half the three year. fifteen, three twenty. Four o'clock, rock. In the afternoon, <laughs> you guys have about seven hours or so, seven seven hours, 40 minutes before the heist. All right, nobody say anything funny the rest of the time. I'm cramping up. <laughs> <laughs> I go get my, or I go uh, to the armor and ask him if my stuff is ready. Oh, is it ever? <laughs> so he goes to the back inside his shop. He brings a push cart out. There's a burlap sack over the push cart. He pulls the burlap sack back. You expected shiny, gleaming plate mail. However, because of the hydra scales and the acid that you gave him, it is not shiny and gleaming. It is, however... Broken, rusty. Not even at all. Uh, you see that maglite flashlight like that? Mm -hmm. You see how the light is gleaming off of that maglite, that, mm. that black steel... Look, your armor looks like that, like that black steel maglite. There is an emblem on the chest piece. It is just a circle. And from the top half of the circle, there are bluish purple flames that mm. go up into um, like a fire looking etching on the symbol that comes all the way up to the neck. There is a helmet that looks like the neck piece of the helmet is a continuation of the flame pattern. It goes up the sides of the where your cheeks would be, up to the crown, up to the front. And then there is a visor. When you put the visor down, it is flat along the top. Um, but the bottom of the visor that covers your eyes looks like the tips of the flame. So the flame, yeah, the flame comes up the chest and it looks like the visor is the 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 very tippy top of the flame. It is shiny and black like that maglite flashlight. And it in the it right looks like light like lava rock, doesn't in it? In the in the right light, yeah, it would um gleam a uh, purplish dark hue with right. highlights of blue. I'm thinking like obsidian almost. Almost almost like that, but it's clearly metal. There are plates like plate mail plates that will strap around your boots that are the same color and the toes of the plate mail boot the uh, the toes of the plate mail boots wow that's hard to say <laughs> um are purple that fade into the black the black hey. steel color cute that's accented pretty nicely and then on the back of the plate mail he turns it over there is Hades name in runes maybe dwarven runes or something like that but it reads Hades, and that goes straight up and down. It doesn't go horizontal. It goes vertical. And those have like a purplish-blue, eerie glow. They don't glow. They just look like they glow. Plus 50 to your AC. <laughs> no, it's plate mail. It's going to be, You're you know. Out in front. Whatever the AC is of plate mail, it just looks super fucking cool. Yeah, like 50. No. So is there any benefit of the scale no, it's okay. just, just all the, aesthetic. Just badass. It yep. poisons you yeah. repeatedly. <laughs> that is wonderful. And are the were you able to do the make the feathers out of the scales for my boots? Oh yeah. No. Oh okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't okay. get the scales that small and, and that dainty. fragile and dainty. Yeah. I, I apologize. That's for okay. That. You did a great job. This is beautiful. Oh. Thank you so well, much. It's all yours. Uh, Amazing. Enjoy. Dang, I will. Uh, wh and what you have what a money? You have a shield to match. No, I already have the shield. He made a shield to match. Oh, so I have another shield now. Yeah, you can ditch your old one if you want the. Well, nice... the old one was Hephaestus. Did did that one? Oh yeah. Or wait, did he? No, Hephaestus did your your warhammer. I think he did the shield too. He just gave you a plain shield. Yeah. Okay. 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 Kite shield is that what it was? I think that I maybe did give it wind. to him then. Maybe I did give it to him. Okay, but I got shield. it now. Yeah, that's yeah. what matters. Um, all right. 
So I get plate mail now. So what does that do for me? 18 AC. 18 AC plus your dex modifier, wow. I believe, plus the shield. A shield is two. Plus 18. 20. So 20 plus your dex 20 modifier. 20 plus your dex modifier. Where the fuck? There it is. There it is. Thanks, I found it. Guys. He did find it. I already have 20 plus two with shield. Oh. Well, now you have awesome looking plate mail. I do. 20 plus two. Plus your, don't forget your plus one from the aura that Hera gave you. On my, on my AC? Yes. Yeah. We all got buffed. Yeah. 18, 19. With an auto buffer. 20, yeah. <laughs> so your AC would be 21 now. All right. Those things suck. Thank you so much. How much money can I give you? 200 gold. You got it. Did you not already pay? No, I asked. No. Give him a thousand gold. <laughs> give him like 200 hey, gold you, and like two silvers. Uh, d- where, do you have a favorite spot you like to hang out? Yes. Yes, I do. Can you recommend one? I'm not going to recommend you my favorite spot, no. (laughs) Oh, that's crazy. Okay. (laughs) That's crazy. (laughs) He's got like this Uh great spot on a hill that he doesn't want you to take. (laughs) (laughs) It's fucking my spot, man. There's this cave I hang out in. It's the shit. Um, You can't go there. I I jack off in there. So me back in the garden, I'm getting annoyed, nervous about the fight tonight. And I'm pacing back and forth like, okay, it's going to happen really soon, I bet. Okay. Is there someone you'd like <laughs> to talk to about that? I'd like to call Aries. Do it. I, hey, Aries, can you hear me? You call out to Aries? Mm-hmm. There is a large hole of red fire that opens up in the ground in front of you. And descending from the ground is a large giant golem made out of stone and fire. Mm-hmm. And then the stone slowly melts away and drips into magma. And you see Ares with his back to you. He's got one arm across his chest and one arm, like one hand on his chin. And he's just looking up at at the trees. And he doesn't look back at you. And he says, what can I do for you? Cool trees, bro. Uh, Hey, Ares. Um, I think we're going to fight the Butcher of Aspasia tonight. So I heard. And I'm I'm a little bit nervous because I think she's really tough. She is. I don't want to disappoint you. Well, if you live, I won't be disappointed at all. Um, do you have any advice or any blessings or any advice? Good advice for my chosen scion. Well, first of all, don't second guess yourself. Any moment of indecision could lead to your death at the hands of Bianca. Mm. She has two daggers forged by Hephaestus that are and can be very lethal. So you take a second to hesitate, she'll sense your hesitation, and that'll give her all the time she needs to slit your throat or find any chinks in your armor. So whatever decisions you make, make them quick and make them with conviction. Got it. Secondly, don't be so damn timid. Mm. Your favorite scion of Ares. You could kill this entire village or city if you wanted. Remember that. I kind of like, I I take his advice to heart. I don't know how to respond to it, but I'm just like, I think I, I think I know what you're talking about. So, um, yeah. Thank you so much, Aries. Um, yeah. Don't thank me. Uh, just don't disappoint. Okay. You know what? You won't be disappointed because I'm going to, I'm going to go to pound town. I would prefer that you kill her. Oh yes. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. I will kill her <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> kill her will, through Pound Town. I will. I will savagely kill her in a way. Oh, in a way that. That's what in I a way that you will find glorious. In a way that you. And then will, maybe warp her head off and drink the blood from her skull afterwards. You know what? That's going to happen. That is absolutely going <laughs> yeah. to happen. And then he turns around. And he's got a smile on his face. This is the first time you've ever seen Aries smile. And then he just tilts his head and nods at you. And then he sinks back into the ground. And as he sinks back into the ground, there is a perfectly burnt circle in what is Eris's garden where I, Ares came up and talked to you. I look at that circle and I nod. Sweet. <laughs> and cool. you feel... Cool circle, bro. You feel a little more invigorated. Um, this pep talk has probably helped a little bit. Whatever indecision you did have, hopefully you don't have any now. Nope. I'm pumped. 
and you know that any action you take needs to be done with conviction and quickly or else Bianca will exploit that weakness and you don't want to be hit by her tech. Oh so my God, you don't want to be hit by them. Oh God, you don't want to be hit by them. Okay, I'm ready. Nice. Alchemist? I definitely no. would like to go I to the Alchemist. I need to get my arrows. From the Alchemist. From the Weaponsmith, right? Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That had the uh, notches in them for the cartridges. How many did you order? A dozen. That's right. Uh, the Weaponsmith is there. Tinking away at, looks like, maces and swords, probably getting prepared for the tournament. Doesn't look up at you. In fact, doesn't even notice you're there, because you're in your cloak. So he won't notice anything unless you say something. This time, I'm, I'm kind of nice to him. Um, as I come in, I open the door, but then I kind of like knock on the door. Oh. Like make some noise. Oh, okay. <laughs> he turns around and looks, and he sees you. Ah, welcome back. I have those arrows you wanted. Thank you. Yeah. And he hands you a quiver of a dozen arrows slotted for something. Little vials or something. There looks like they're... You had barbed arrowheads, right? Like hooked arrowheads. Yeah. And there is a couple grooves that looks like you could fit something round and cylindrical just back from the arrowhead into the shaft. These look like they will do nicely. I certainly hope so. You did. All yeah. right. We head to the alchemist. It is an easy trek to the alchemist. People subconsciously move out of your way. Nobody slows you down. Make a perception check. Nope. Sorry. Uh, make a deck save. Ah! Eight. Eight. Number? Now, they're not trying to surprise me, right? Because I can't be surprised. No, they're just trying to shoot at you. And don't you have a thing where if you fail a deck save, you take half... Um, what happens if you fail a deck save? Uh, I'm looking. Oh, instead of taking full damage, you take half damage. Yeah. Don't you have that as a rogue? Yeah, I have uncanny dodge. Yeah. So a throwing dagger whizzes by and slices you in the arm for one damage. Ouch. <laughs> and it sticks in the ground at your feet. Ouch. What was that? Um, I look looking around. at the angle of the blade, it looked like it came from above you in the rogueways. I look up to see if I see anybody. You see Bianca. God damn it. Looking down at you. I. This is not the time to Where be. are you? I'm at just the... on my way to. I'm on my alchemist. way to the alchemist. Damn, she's um, been following you. She's been harassing her all day since last night. Remember the arrow she shot at you mm-hmm. in the alleyways? Um, I try to find a spot that I can like go back and hide. Oh, you don't have to. She slowly turns around and jumps along the roof of the rogueways. She's not trying to kill you. She's just trying to harass you before the fight tonight. She is expecting you to be there. Other than that, you can make your way to the alchemist. Only only Bianca was harassing you just a little okay. bit. I go to the balcony, pull a band-aid out, you know, no sporing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was just a cut, just like... Right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'll also make my way to the Alchemist. All right. Uh, you make it there. Door's closed. A little bell or anything when I There's a door. bell. Okay. Yeah, there's a bell. Ring, ring. Make sure to hit it real hard. Ding! And then the Alchemist uh, comes out from behind his shop. His hair is a little fritzed and frazzled. Certain ends are smoking. It's like he's been working with explosive compounds. Yeah. Uh, and he says, ah, welcome back. I just finished your cartridges. Sweet. And I pull out my arrows. He puts a little burlap sack on his counter and he opens it up and there are 12 little orangish cartridges. Like they're glass cartridges, but they're filled with an orange, almost like a pulsing orange liquid. And this is very caustic. It's burns very badly um, and will light hair and clothes on fire. Trust me, I have experienced them firsthand. And he's got, like, singes in his shirt, like where the liquid is splashed while he was mixing it. So there's holes in his tunic. Uh, Whatever you plan on doing with these, make sure you hit the target. These will most certainly burn a house down. These will do very nicely. Is there anything else you needed? Nope, and I take one and go to put it in it. And it slides in pretty easily. And there is a little mechanical metal sound. And you see little clamps come out from the shaft of the arrow uh, around the top and the bottom of the cylinder. 
and it affixes pretty nicely to the arrow. So there's a little chink sound, and it is perfectly affixed. Um, they are any, good at what they do. Any advice on how to store these? So you know, in a, uh, in a quiver would be sufficient. <laughs> Okay. Like you can shake Perfect. them and they won't explode. And he picks one up and he shakes it violently. Uh, God, I stick, I get behind my. Uh, it'll only break. When, it's shield. only gonna break when it hits something solid. Okay. So, like a person or a wall or a house or a tree, hit it with enough force and the 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 vial will shatter. But it was perfectly contained in there. Right, and so I put the put the rest of the cartridges. Yep. In my and then you hear eleven chink 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 chink. As they affix to the arrows. Yes, these brothers are incredibly good at what they do because as who has embraced them? I did. You did. You know that at least one of them is a bastard Mm -hmm. and they are brothers. So it's a very good possibility. The second one is a bastard as well. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe favored by Hephaestus. Nice. Seeing as their craft in the armor and armaments. Yeah, it's, they're really good at it. Um, and I'm not even going to make you roll religion for that. You all have been touched by the gods. I can just tell you that stuff. And touched in the head. By Lux. In the Lux vagina. There at the same time. Yeah, she Thanks. she went with you. Hey, those look like they'll fuck something up. That new armor? Yeah. Oh, I assure you they will yeah. fuck something up quite readily. Yes, that, that yes, is quite, awesome. Yes, quite, quite. Yeah, you like it? Nice. Thank you. It's got ha- written Hades on the back, and I turn around and show you. It's in runes. How loud oh. is she when she moves her? She Elven clanks. boots? Clank probably, you know, not terrible. No, not terrible. There's small clanks, but it's not like you're, you know, walking through a bunch of aluminum trash cans that you're kicking over. <laughs> Make sure you don't give away our location. I won't. I will be careful. Uh, and if something needs to come off, needs to come off, right? Um, I was wondering if you have any kind of bombs. No, I don't. I don't have any health potions either. I've been working on these flammable cartridges. I haven't had any chances to make anything else. Uh, if you could make uh, some kind of explosive device, uh, when could you have it done by? I'd have to go out and get the reagents, but I could probably have it done for you tomorrow. Well, I actually kind of would. Yeah, you know what? Go. Ahead. How much are they? How big do you want the explosion to be? Um, How big do you want the bomb to be? Uh, five foot, probably. <laughs> five foot I'm thinking bomb. <laughs> diameter explosion. Yeah, I know what you mean. So you're looking for an area of effect? Yes. I mean, probably about 20 gold a piece. Okay, I'll take uh, three, and I'll get them tomorrow. Sure. Thank you. You can pay me now, or you can pay them tomorrow. I'll just give them, I'll just pay you now. My 60 know. gold, please. Okay. Um, and... You guys have so much gold, I need to make you fuckers spend it. <laughs> <laughs> still have, because I still have all that gold that Pan gave me. All the gold. Yeah, I like that. I hate breaking shit down. I mean, food and stuff can be broken down pretty right. easily. I can't remember what I was going to... Fuck it. I'll come back if I need... Okay, thanks. See you tomorrow. Yep. Have a good time. Promise. Oh, Hera's Embrace. Can, what, can I look back real quick? He's not. Okay. Not at all. Billy, did you go to the Alchemist too? Oh, I don't need to because I got everything I needed from Hades. I needed something from the Alchemist. Did I get that anti-resistance potion? Did you go to the alchemist? I'm going to the alchemist. Then yes, you will be able to get your anti-resistance <laughs> potion. What up, man? Hey, welcome back. Were you able to make that anti-resistance potion? I did. Custom what element order was it shit? again? Fire. Yes. Thank God. Because that's what I made. Thank ah. God you made that. And uh, he produces one vial. It is a blue-purple swirling liquid. I don't know what you plan to do with it, but you coat or throw this at anybody and they'll burn pretty easily against any ignition source. Excellent. Like, pretty handily. Excellent. Thank you very much. Yep. Did I already pay him? You did. Probably. Anything else I can do for you? No, I think I'm good for now. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure. It has absolutely been that. Uh, Are you going to be back tomorrow too? Yeah, I might. All right. Might stop in. I may see you tomorrow. Excellent. I look forward to it. Yeah, don't die. Yeah. I would like. Does he to know head what we're doing? Back to the Rogues Guild. No, it's just good advice to tell somebody not to die. Yeah. In this world, man. All right. Life is. You can easily head back to the Rogues Guild. Back to the Rogues Guild, and I went to use the. Front- the front door doesn't open. Not for the likes of you. It's locked. There are two. 
Yeah, I, I was like, what do you do after that? Like, <laughs> you check for traps first. Um, disarm the traps. Roll survival. I think there used to be a trap disarm skill, but there isn't any more. So I'm just going to call it survival. There's a feat that actually helps you better. Yeah, there is. Beyond that, I don't know. I think hands probably work best against traps. Traps. 18. <laughs> yeah, you successfully disable one of them. You hear a click, click, and then that's all you hear. Click, click. I disable the other one. Yeah, go right ahead. 50. Jeez. <laughs> Dice, are you rolling? Eight. Don't forget you have work. You successfully disable the trap. You hear click, Boom. click. Boom. And now I would like to pick the lock. Oh, there you go. Go ahead. Do you have uh, tools or anything that assist with that? Just use I have the key. Tools, yeah. You got thieves tools? Just enter the right code. Yeah, I have lockpicks. Hit the fob. Yeah, you just get that. What? You heard me. <laughs> <laughs> What's the role on the lock Google. picking? Just, no, I th- me I either. Thought it, Often. Haven't you that done up. it before? It's just always a you critical hit. It? I'm seeing if it's on the DM screen. I'm going to guess it probably isn't. Picking a lock. No, it isn't. What about picking a nose? Is that on there? No. God damn it, I'm you a You could just do that. And you got some big ass nostrils. You should be fine. Is Electo still it's hanging out with Ari? Check. It's it's just a dex check. Okay, easy enough. Roll dex. Um. Use your hands though, not your feet. Dex. Fifty. Golly, rolling so good. Twenty. Yeah. Oh yeah, you pop that bitch right open. Woo! That door didn't know what hit it. Like to enter the the rogues guild. You can. And it is completely and entirely empty. There is no furniture. There is no desk. There is not a soul in there. Stairs or anything? Not that you can see. You do remember there was a trap door where you came in through the back. All right. I go to the trap door and I check for traps. They are there, but they're already disabled. Surprise. It's a door. So I go to open the trap door. And it opens. I kind of. Peer down first to see if I see anybody like walking right underneath it or anything. You do not hear or see anybody walking around. You don't hear footsteps splashing in the waterways. Um, you don't see any torch lights. Um, it's it looks like what somebody or some people purposely cleaned out the rogues guild. Maybe have abandoned the the water rogueways. Maybe. Oh shit! Set up shop. Vacancy. Yeah, well, you're in charge I'm now. I'm kind of concerned now that, like, <laughs> like, go check the money changer. Yeah. All right. I um, go back out the front door. And do I know where my friends are? Oh, well, you friends? left Ari and um, Lux at the Alchemist. I, I, go, I like to go check the Alchemist. Did you guys leave the Alchemist? Yes, I was just hanging oh, out. Yeah, I mean, front. after I got my shit, I left. I wanted to go say hi to my horse. Ari and Lux are not the alchemist. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I get for just wandering off, because that's what I do. If Lux made known that she was going to go check on her horse, I'd probably go too. I planned on it. I just hadn't but said not it for yet. But I was going to mention it. For my horse. It. Right, obviously. Give him a pat. So yeah, me and Ari, Little if nuzzle. you'll allow it, we went to go say hello you to guys our game, horses. I'm just playing in it. Maybe, yeah, you maybe. guys are totes do allowed I... to go see your horses. Comb it a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, they are getting tended. Oh, I'm I sure. I made sure of that. But, you know, they like it. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I asked the alchemist if he knows. But it's some horny. They left. <laughs> they have to say where they were going. Nope. But they went through that door. You just came in. <laughs> See which direction? Did they go right or left? I didn't follow them, so I have no idea. <laughs> the windows, because I made it. Made it? Mm-hmm. I remember this was the, t- well, I know it's been rebuilt and all that, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, no, he's got windows. But, I mean, after everybody left, he went back into his lab. Um, okay, so I go out, and I just kind of, like, look to see if there's anybody that I know. How are you looking? Cute these days. I'm looking with Harris and Brace. Oh, you see two faint trails heading off towards the stables. Hey, so I walk that way. Like, two bastards or two people with auras have were very, very, very recently in this area. Okay, I had, I follow the trail. Oh, man, you follow it right to the stables where you see Ari and Lux playing with their horses. Hey, I think we might be in trouble. What'd you do? All the rogues are gone. Now? Yeah. Need to go to the money exchange right now. 
Where's Where's Jelly? We need that horn. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you have the horn. What time is it? It's not eleven. I mean, we've been telling people all day about this going on, and so yeah, because we're super smart. I <laughs> bet. You know, somebody's overheard something, and so they probably are going early. Yeah, Eris trust... probably told Bianca. <laughs> I don't trust Hedica or whatever the fuck. Don't even know. Hecate? Azteca? Goddess of magic? <laughs> Where's Gels? Who is either good or evil, depending on what mood they're in that day. That's why her and Eris get along so well. was back at the mayor estate. In the garden, having garden, right? having jelly. Well, we're in right. the stables. Right. Having, having, having a butter heart jelly to heart time. with Peanut butter mm-hmm. jelly time. Peanut mm-hmm. butter jelly time. <laughs> Well, go check it out real quick, Neith. Um, should we go gather- stop Bianca? Oh, hold on. Should we- what? <laughs> should we gather up our other people that we wanted to help us real quick? Well, what if we go there and it's not I mean, yet. yeah, and it's not happening, and we just cried well, wolf. Yeah, well, I mean, we should probably all go there early anyway. Head up, should we? I mean, but we should make sure it's not like going down like right now, though, because why? Well, is the money changer open? The day before a tournament in broad daylight? Yes. Make an insight roll, Lux. Just add 20 to whatever you roll. <laughs> That's an important step. I feel like you're not doing that. 13. You have a strong inclination that a business is open during the daytime. <laughs> 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 well, guys, I think I you bet, bet it's open. So it's, I don't think that you would you would necessarily do that while the business is open, right? Yeah, but she was also attacking us in broad daylight right yeah. next to the, mar- you know. You should go up out. on the roof and see if you can draw her out. I think I we should at least see at if you. anybody's there, but uh, then plan after that. How far away is the money changer from you? From where you guys are? Hey, Jelly. I don't know. Hey. Probably. Can Jelly hear me if I yell from the stables? Is it, like, on property? No. No. Yeah. How far away is the stable from the... Mayoral I mean, asked it. You could fly over there and it'd take you like a minute or two. Okay. I'm going to fly over to Jelly. Okay. You fly over to Jelly. Jelly. Hey, hey, you Ari. You see uh, Ari floating there, flapping his wings, Whoa. kicking up a little bit of dust and wind as he's hovering above. How Whoa, far away is hey, the Ari. money changer? From, From the mayoral, the mayoral estate? estate? Um, Back. It is. Sorry. It's northwest, north of the arena. So. Maybe you should have Cedric going. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Can you have Cedric go check the situation at the money changer? Uh, I can, and also while he's doing that, I can also try to scry again to see if I can see All right. where the butcher is. Yeah, because we're worried That's that it might be going idea. down right now, but okay. we don't know if it is or not. Uh, I asked Cedric to go check it out. Cedric's going to fly over there. And also, I'm gonna, I'd am gonna. like to cast scrying to see if I can get a good view of, of Bianca. Let me check and see what her save is. Not 20. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, it's worth a shot. Which one did you do? Brian. Here, have a swig of ambrosia. Yeah, I'm just going to drink more ambrosia when I go back inside. <laughs> I have some. Oh. So, here's so it is now an hour later? Doesn't your scrying take an hour? No, it it, it, it it takes 10 minutes. Oh, te- okay. So it's and then 10 it'll minutes. Last an hour. <laughs> yeah. How long okay. is it going to take Cedric to fly around, see if any so the money changer? bullshit's like, happening? One or two minutes. Whip back out. Does he come back? So he doesn't come back. Oh, he's uh, dead. He Fuck. communicates with you telepathically. <laughs> he's a drink. And you don't have to whisper. <laughs> he says, she still whispers there in her head. are <laughs> people going in and out a lot. There are two people outside of the front door, like with weapons and shields. Um, there are people talking. There are people laughing. Um, people are going in and out. Basically, business as usual, right? Is that what business is? <laughs> The owls don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck I mean, is business? I'm I mean, an owl. I mean, it sounds like it, from what you're describing. All I know is, hoo, hoo. <laughs> uh, there's no fighting. <laughs> there's nobody eating. Did That's... you see anything on the roof? Anything weird on the roof? I saw a sparrow up there <laughs> that I'm going to eat later. <laughs> mm. Okay. You there's know what? There's some robin eggs up there, too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, thanks Thanks for taking it out, Cedric. You know what? I bet they're underground. You brought a goddamn predator into the city. <laughs> I sure did. Apex predator. Mm. Yep. Can't trust a fucking yeah. raptor. <laughs> um, I bet they're underground. We had sewer. this discussion. Yep. But yeah, the, what Cedric is describing, it sounds like that people are going in and exchanging money. It sounds like the bank is business as usual. Okay. Thanks, Cedric. Yep. Happy to help. 
I'm gonna go eat that sparrow. Okay, have have fat have fun. Have I at it. Plan on it. <laughs> What's up, Jelly? Uh, so yeah, Cedric just said, it sounds like it's just business as usual. The money changer, nothing. So I'm pretty sure they're underground. What time do they close? Yo, mama o'clock. Hmm. That's pretty ah, soon. I'm guessing, I'm, guessing sun, I'm guessing sundown, right? I mean, what what time is it right now? Did you hustle back over to where Jelly's um, at, or are you still hanging out with the horse? Let's see. It was. Oh yeah, I. Well, considering it's we like can't fly, three thirty ish, three forty five ish, going on four o'clock. Yeah, but I was clearly heading that way. You guys can get over with us. Yeah, I. Yeah, I. Don't keep hanging plan. out with the horses. <laughs> I. Yeah, I go to the garden. Okay. To catch up with Jelly and Ari. Takes you a little bit longer because you have to walk. Yeah. You can't fly. I know. So, I keep trying. So, Nick, Run, don't walk. You said you went to the Rogue's Guild, right? What Did you find anything out? Do you hear anything? What? Oh, no. Very. Do you think the heist was just a red herring? What if it was just a red herring? I mean, they could just be gathering air. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, we got about like seven minutes and then we might be able to tell. I bet they're underground. Bet. Maybe they have a mole. Maybe they uh, are a mole. Uh, and that'll do us. <laughs> I would like to wild shape into a giant eagle. Sure. And I'd like to fly around Caca. the town and use Hera's embrace to see if I can see them. All right. You can't. You do see an aura around a big fucking dragon looking guy. Mm, well, it's Martel. It's Martel, yeah. You do see two faint auras at the weapon shop yeah. and the um, armor smith. Okay. Well, I know who those guys are. Anybody else that you guys haven't met yet? No. That's okay. it for now. I go back and back and land. Still an eagle? Uh, I land and then I turn back into Joey. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's an anamorph. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus yeah, Christ. Well, I didn't roll back. that series. Roll back. <laughs> I didn't see anything. I just saw our normal, who we already know are the bastards. So, oh, here's another swig of uh, ambrosia. Yeah, I take just, another swig of ambrosia. Let's just stick to the plan then for now. Sweet, your spells are refreshed. You feel it's, fantastic. Okay, I want to see the scrying. Uh, nothing happened. Oh, another scry. I want to know where that bitch at. Can't do it until for another twenty four hours. Even after a swig of ambrosia, that's why I gave you. <laughs> oh. Sucka! I thought oh, you wow. just said it to make her feel better. I mean, it did. It, yes. it, did, it, it that's exactly refreshed your wild right. shape, right? Exactly. Well, yeah, like refresh that, your yeah. wild shape. The second so, time yeah. I did it. For so, what a wild happens shape. next? Is it a good spot? Can be, yeah. I mean, we're never gonna get could it. always <laughs> fast forward until eleven p.m. And I mean, we we're could at. start the we next session. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, that'll do us this evening for someone playing. Thanks for listening, guys. Listen next week as the adventure continues and the investigation comes to a hopefully swift conclusion. <laughs> and, swift, you know, indeed. Thanks How for listening, much? everybody. Will Ari, will Ari bang some more? He better. Thank you for listening to Some Would Play, a production of the Outsanity Network. Join us again next week as the story continues. Find us online at www.somewouldplay.com and be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Some Would Play. Deborah is at Sonia Taki. Rico is at R1C0. Jenna is at Jenna Toll. Daphne is at Dafterthought. And I am Psychedelic M. If you enjoy the show, please tell your friends and share it with others. And remember, in real life, you needn't roll for initiative, so just seize it.